Hi everyone, Melissa from the Sassy Saver here um, um, to show you the cooking of the cheddar broccoli soup that I told you about. Um, as you can see here, we've got all the ingredients for it set out and ready to go. And that's one thing that you, um, when you are cooking like this with you know, family that need to eat and things like that. This helps you save a lot of time because everything's all in one spot. So you take a few minutes, get everything out, put it all where you have it close together, and then you can start cooking it. Now, you may see here where it says that this is whole milk, vitamin D. Now, I have a little secret to tell you, don't tell my husband, um, but this is not actually whole milk. What I do is I get, you know, whole milk or something like that, um, 2%. Well, then I take dry milk, which is fat-free milk, and I mix it with it so that it lasts longer. So our um, milk dollars will stretch and we're able to get more out of it. So this is actually about a third whole milk and then the rest is the dried milk. So just don't tell him, it'll be okay. And he doesn't even notice, but he thinks he knows differences between those things. But So then I have an onion and um, garlic. Instead of garlic powder, like the recipe calls for, I'm going to use fresh garlic and put it in with the onion. So that way it cooks a little bit. Um, we have garlic powder, but I prefer to use the fresh stuff if I have it. So that's why I'm going to use it. I have a little garlic crusher. I'll show you that part. So then I have my cans of chicken broth, um, which I just got at Winco today um, with a shopping trip that you will see on Saturday. Um, and then we have the broccoli. Now this stuff in the plastic bag is broccoli that I cut up and froze. Um, so it's the same thing like I told you about getting it in season. Um, this was a super sale at a store and um, broccoli is actually kind of in season right now, but but uh, they had a really big sale, so I was able to get some for super cheap and put a bunch in the freezer. So this bag right here is my cheese, and we wrap it in a paper towel because it helps to keep the mold off the, off of the cheese. Uh, my husband discovered that one day, and we've been doing it for a long time, and we rarely have moldy cheese. So if you're looking for a way to keep your cheese from getting moldy, stick a paper towel around it, then it sucks up all the moisture and then it doesn't get into your cheese. We've never ever had dry cheese either, so don't worry about that. But there's also this cheese. This cheese I got at Winco today um, is on sale for $1.58 for this Kraft Natural Cheese. And then we had those coupons from the paper um, a few weeks ago they came and it so it made it just over a dollar for these things so I got a whole bunch stocked up it's in my freezer then this is cornstarch which you will see later what it's cooked for okay I'm gonna get started chopping all these vegetables and I'm not gonna um, keep this on because that's probably gonna be boring for you so once they're all chopped and everything's ready to go I'll turn it back on and all right you can see that I have all my broccoli chopped up now one thing I want to point out is you don't have to make your broccoli as small as mine is. I just really like small bits of broccoli in my broccoli cheddar soup. So the recipe just calls for it to be chopped. And I've seen some. Some of my friends have made it with chunks of broccoli in it and things like that. And Any way you want to do it is fine. It will work with the recipe. It doesn't have to be small. I just prefer it that way. The onions are all cut up and the butter is melted and starting to bubble. And so I need to get this in to, to cook. Um, so... Put this up here so you can see. So what I'll do is I'll just take my onions and put them in first. This is gonna sizzle quite a bit probably as they go in, so I'm gonna do it slowly so it doesn't spit too much. Onion. Cut that one up. 
That's one thing, um, as you're cooking, you'll notice that that happens. Sometimes that things will get a little bit uneven, and that's okay. Cooking isn't about perfection, it is about making something good. So, all the onions in. I'm ready for my broccoli now. As I said before, I'm going to be putting the garlic in with the onion to saute a little bit um, in the butter. And I'm going to probably put two cloves of garlic in, in place of that um, garlic powder. So, easy way to uh, get the skins off. You can, my mom takes a knife and she pushes down on the outside coating. Let's see if I can get my next one off and do that one. This is a really big one. So, here it is. So she takes the knife and she'll just press down until you hear a popping noise and that will take off the cover of it. So, and then it makes it really easy to peel off and then just chop it up and Put it on in there with it. So I'm just gonna chop this up a little bit. You may hear in the background my kids are watching Polar Express right now while I do this, so that maybe some of the sounds you hear. Um, sometimes I usually don't have them watch stuff, but because I was making the video, I thought I'd be practical <laughs> instead of having them talking to me and everything during the video. But a little hint, if you're home in the evenings without um, your spouse with the kids, might want to save their TV time if they get it during the day to that time or their favorite activity is also a good thing, good way to uh, to do. You save it for when you're cooking so then they can be sitting over doing it while you cook. All right, so here's what it looks like in there. So you'll just take a spoon and just stir it all up. I'm going to turn this up a little bit so it sautés. Had it on low while I was chopping to keep it melted but not bubbling. So you just sauté these for a while and once they are um, soft and clear then you move on to the next step.